We are going to take our discussion of principal agent game further. So I hope you remember the game. So let me just repeat it very quickly. So there is a principal. Let's say I'm principal. I'm employer Pat, and you guys are agent. You are employee A. You are you are employee Alan. I'm risk neutral. You guys are risk averse, <clears throat> and these are our utility function. Ellen can have high effort or low effort. If he puts in low effort, there is no effort cost. If he puts in high effort, effort cost is minus one. If he puts high effort, then also there is a probability that the product can then that the project can be successful or unsuccessful. If the project is successful, then the revenue is six. If the project is unsuccessful, then the revenue is two. Probability of success is half, but this probability is going to be there only if you put in high effort. If there is no effort or if there is low effort, then the probability of success is zero. Right. And we have drawn this game. Hmm? So let me just convert this into the expected payoffs. First of all, so you start with Pat. And uh, Pat is sitting on the information set. He doesn't know what uh, Ellen is going to do. He is going to offer wage and bonus ellen comes into the picture if he accepts the contract then again ellen is going to decide whether he wants to put in high effort or low effort ellen is deciding here whether he wants to put high effort or low effort Right. And if he doesn't accept, then the game is going to end. Neither Pat will get anything and uh, nor uh, Ellen is going to get anything. Well, if high effort is being put, the thing about then think about Pat, right? Uh, think about uh, uh, Pat. So the probability of success. So, so we are going to write first of all, the expected payoff for Pat. So even if Ellen is put, putting high effort, then the probability of success is half. Right. So we are, we are writing the payoff for Pat. Probability of success is half into. What is the revenue which is going to generate? Six. He will have to give wage also. And because project is successful, he will be giving bonus also. Right. If and with the probability half, there will be a failure. With probability half, there will be a failure. Revenue is uh, two. And uh, he will have to give wages only. There, will, there won't be any bonus here. Right. So you solve this. What you will be getting is, uh, I think, uh, four minus W minus b by 2. This is what Pat's payoff is. So as a, we don't write it like this, but I'm just writing. Don't write it like this in the exam. Pat's expected payoff payoff if L inputs high effort. Hmm? This is there. Now, what is Ellen's uh, expected payoff if uh, if Ellen is going to put high effort? So with probability half, project is going to be successful. Ellen is going to get W as the wage. Plus, he will also be getting the bonus. And his utility is X to the power alpha, which so is this. And because he has put in high effort, there will be an effort cost of minus one, which is going to be deducted plus probability of uh, failure is half. He will still be getting W, but he won't be getting any bonus to the power alpha minus the effort cost minus the effort cost. Right? So this is going to be tax. Uh, so this is going to be Ellen's expected payoff if Ellen is going to put high effort. Well, if Ellen is going to put low effort, if Ellen is going to put low effort, then 
then the project is not going to be successful. This we have already shown earlier. So revenue is going to be just two and Pat is going to give W as the wage. That's a cost. There won't be any bonus, nothing. And uh, so this is the payoff for uh, principal Pat. And how much, uh, how much uh, Ellen is going to make W and his utility is X to the power alpha. So W to the power alpha, he won't be getting any bonus. He won't be getting any bonus. I hope you guys are, you guys are with me, right? So this is your, uh, you, you've converted your game into this guy. Um, expected payoff. Now the question starts that uh, actually Pat wants Ellen to choose high effort voluntarily. So what he should be doing? What contract? WB. Should Pat offer? So that Ellen chooses. <clears throat> High effort. Voluntarily. Right. Right. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, Pat has to choose such wage rate and the bonus amount so that Ellen would prefer preferring high effort over low effort instead of going, instead of not accepting the contract. Right instead of not accepting the contract. So the, so first of all, Pat wants to design a contract, which is going to induce high effort, right? Which is going to induce high effort. So this is called incentive compatibility. Pat must choose. W and B such that Ellen must prefer high effort over low effort and should also prefer having effort over walking away. Walking away means not accepting the contract. Because if Ellen doesn't accept the contract, it is not beneficial for Ellen as well as it is not beneficial for, for Pat. So this is actually both incentive compatibility plus participation constraint. I'll tell you what exactly, what exactly uh, these things are, right? So, so. The first thing is effort constraint. This is also called incentive compatibility constraint. Right. So Ellen must prefer high effort over low effort. Over low effort. 
so this is going to happen if the expected payoff of ln from high effort is going to be more than the expected payoff of ln from low effort so expected utility of ln from high effort should be greater than or equal to expected utility of ln from low effort so this is what this is this you've just written the expected utilities Plus 1 by 2 to the power alpha should be greater than or equal to w to the power alpha. Right. So this ensures that ln is willing to exert high effort. This ensures that. Then you have participation constraint. Oh, one more thing. It should be minus one also. No. Because this is the expected utility minus effort cost should be greater than or equal to this guy. W to the power. Then you have participation constraint. This is also called individual rationality. So uh, this is uh, this is telling you that Ellen should accept the job instead of not accepting the job. And that should he should he should accept the job with, which is uh, in which he is going to exert high effort. So, must refer. Accepting the job. Over rejecting it. Over rejecting it means that in case if he rejects it, his, his expected utility is zero. So expected payoff. H is greater than or equal to Z. That is, this is the expected payoff from high effort. This is the expected payoff from high effort. This should be greater than or equal to zero. Why greater than or equal to zero? Zero means his expected utility if he is not going to accept the job. Right. Now, now that want that is principle. So Pat wants to minimize payments, but at the same time, Pat also wants to satisfy both the constraints. So the best way is that you, uh, uh, you have to make it equal to equality. I Means instead of inequality, you should have an equality here. So, so what you are trying to tell here is this: that uh, you want Pat to participate. You want Pat to accept the job. Because if he doesn't accept the job, neither it is going to benefit him nor it is going to benefit Pat. So if it is greater than equal to zero, he will accept the job. So it means that equal to zero also he will accept. Right? He will be indifferent. So why not just put it equal to zero? So right. the Pat wants To minimize
while still satisfying both constraints. So Pat will choose <clears throat> W and V such that uh, such that that uh, this is going to hold with equality. This is there. He's holding with equality because what, what is being said is that if expected utility is positive or it is equal to zero, we will accept it. So if he's accepting at equal to zero, why not just put it equal to zero then? You with me? Right. So this is simply binding the participation constraint. So this is what it is. So what we will do is that uh, we'll take our discussion further in the next class. So you need to revise till here so that we can start solving the game. Right. I hope it was useful to you. Thank you. Bita.